What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the reasons why a compressor may not be coming on on a PTAC unit. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so I will say that the most common uh, reason why the compressor doesn't come on will be the capacitor itself. Uh, so uh, most of the time what the compressor does is uh, makes like a humming sound trying to start and then it will just kick back off. Um, I got a video uh, that I made to check the capacitor. Should be coming up on your screen right now. And with that you can uh, discard the capacitor. Alright, so another reason why the compressor may not be coming on will be uh, due to a uh, faulty control board. Uh, so there's two ways to checking this. Uh, uh, there you can either check here at the board itself or uh, you can check at the actual compressor. All right, so let me show you how to do it. All right, so what you wanna do is uh, put your uh, voltmeter on uh, uh, volts. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, check where, from where it says compressor uh, and we're gonna put it to uh, uh, line one. As you can see, uh, the control board is sending power. So now let's try uh, uh, checking from the actual compressor. All right, so let's just follow where uh, the compressor or the control board sends power to the compressor. Uh, we're just gonna follow that purple wire. Uh, that purple wire is the uh, uh, high pressure switch. So if we follow the line, it goes to the high pressure switch and then it comes to the overload switch. So that's where we are going to be testing at, uh, right here. From here, uh, we're going to be testing to line one. All right, so we are getting power. That is what we are looking for. All right, so another reason why uh, the compressor may be not coming on is uh, due to burnt wires, as is the case for this one. Uh, this yellow wire is connected to the hermetic and it's burnt so uh, I'm gonna have to repair that and uh, reconnect and retry all right so another reason why that compressor may be not coming on uh, could be due to any one of these uh, switches the overload switch or the pressure switch so to test those we are gonna have to disconnect them uh, like so and we're gonna be testing them with uh, continuity uh, I already got it set to continuity so we're just gonna test the overload switch at uh, from one end to the other like so okay so that tells me that the overload switch is good if uh, if it was bad you would be staying at OL open line so that would tell that would tell me that the uh, overload switch will be bad all right so same thing for the high pressure switch uh, we're just gonna have to disconnect it from the control board and just test from one end to the other with continuity as well all right so we can do this all right so that also tells me that the pressure switch is good uh, so if you was at OL then that means that your high pressure switch is bad all right so another reason will be the compressor itself um, so the windings may be open uh, so you're supposed to be getting continuity between every terminal you could either use ohms to test it or continuity I prefer to use continuity uh, so what we do is we're gonna test between every single terminal and we are supposed to be getting continuity all right so all right, so that's good. So now we're gonna test from this one, this terminal to the other. That's also good. All right, so uh, let's test from here to here. All right, so that tells me that the compressor is good. Uh, if you were not getting continuity, uh, the windings in the compressor are open and the problem will be the actual compressor. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.